Hi guys, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami Art Basel vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so as you can see, I am in a new location. I am literally bouncing around until I close on my house, which is gonna be very soon. So I'm very happy about that. If you're new here, I bought a house in Miami Beach back in April. It was being built and now I'm finally closing in a few weeks and moving in. So stay tuned for a home tour. It's a long time coming. Anywho, we are here. It is Art Basel. I'm doing a ton of events. This is my very first Art Basel and I'm absolutely loving it. There should be a few pre-Art Basel events in the video or in the vlog that went live before this one. So if you wanna see some of that, make sure to watch that vlog as well. But today is Thursday, December 2nd, which is the official start to Art Basel. And I just checked into the Hyatt-centric South Beach Hotel. It's so funny, I actually walked past this hotel almost every single day when I was living around here. And this is the first time I'm actually staying here. It's very central, it's a beautiful hotel. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. They have a beautiful lobby on, I believe the second floor. And in the lobby, they have the check-in desk. They also have a bar. They have tons of little seating areas for you to relax and watch TV. They also have kind of a wraparound terrace outside with tables and chairs where you can just sit and relax. They also have a pool. I had no idea that they had a pool. I walked past here so many times. Right downstairs, there is a Joe the Juice, which is great because y'all know I love Joe the Juice. They have the best oat milk lattes and banana nut breads. So good. So I'm gonna be going down there every day to get an oat milk latte. They are right across the street from the Lowe's, which is a very popular hotel here. I um, mean, we do have access to the beach. It's right on college, which is really great. The price here is very affordable too. So let's do a quick room tour. And then I'm gonna take you guys with me on the first event that I already went to today, but we gonna back it up. So when you come into my room, it's stunning by the way. Nice light wood floors. You come in to the left, there's a bathroom. It has a sliding glass door, which is really nice. That separates the toilet from the mirror, from the shower. Um, a nice mirrored space, great for doing your makeup. Lots of storage space underneath and a sink. And then a kind of standalone shower where you open the door and it's a rainfall shower, which is really cool. I've never seen this kind of design before where the shower is like in the center of the room, but it's all frosted glass so you can't see in, which is great if you're staying with someone. It gives you a little bit of anonymity, you know, a little bit of privacy. I really love this room because it's right in the very front of the hotel, which faces Collins. I'm gonna get a great sunrise view um, in the morning. It's all floor to ceiling windows with tons of sheer curtains all the way around that wrap around uh, so if you want this room it's room 502 if you want a room with the same view try to get on that line i do have a pool i mean a view of the pool next door as well there's a nice little desk here with a coffee a maker which is great because y'all know I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm definitely gonna utilize this desk space because I still have a ton of work to do. It's quarter four and they working me y'all. <laughs> y'all see the ads? Go on over there to my Instagram, at Monroe Steel and check out all my ads. There is a huge TV with like a little more storage space underneath, which is great. There is a seating area over here and in front of these uh, windows as well. The bed is huge. I'm pretty sure it's a king size. It looks super comfortable with nice artwork right above. And then there is ample closet space, so a few hangers, places I can put my suitcase and my bags and all of my things. So pretty much really, really nice. And I booked this room very last minute and the price was really great, especially for it being Art Basel and things are like, exorbitant like prices right now just y'all <laughs> if you ever want to come down here book your hotel in advance learn from my mistakes 
Anywho, so earlier today, my first event, I went to the La Prairie event, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm wearing this dress from De Seagull. It is De Seagull and Esteban Cotazar collection. And I just thought it looked really arty. <laughs> and so I wanted to, you know, wear something very kind of arty. Um, if it's still available, I'll link it down below. I'm wearing a medium. For the shoe, I went with my white Bottega Mules. So easy to walk in, super comfortable. And then I also went with my white Bottega Jody bag in the woven leather, the very large size. So that was my look for today. I called an Alto. I don't know if you guys have heard of Alto. It's Ride Alto on Instagram, but they it's this new ride share program here in Miami Beach. I'm not sure if it's other places as well, but I think so. I think major cities have it. It is so incredible. It's so much better than the other ride share programs being that the drivers are professionally trained. The cars are all the same. They're super luxurious. They have signature scents. You get into them and they have complimentary water bottles, complimentary umbrellas, complimentary hand sanitizers, and tons of charging cords for any kind of phone or device you may need to charge. When you call them, you can even set up the kind of mood, the vibe you want them to speak, what kind of music you want them to play. And it has been integral to me getting around during Basel. So download Ride Alta. You can use my code MONROE20, all capital letters, for $20 off your first two rides. Check them out incredible i used them to get to my first event for t the day which was the la prairie event and it was actually on the beach they had cabanas so cool you walk in they were just greeting you with champagne and caviar i believe they partnered with white caviar i mean everyone looked incredible the the setup was just really really cool there were beach chairs set up on the beach with umbrellas where you could have massages using their skincare products. I had a hand massage, which was really nice. I also got a coconut popsicle, which was delicious. It was hot today, y'all. It was hot, okay? There was an art exhibit there by Wen Chen Su of Mirrors, which was really cool. And I believe at night they do kind of like a light show as well. Um, I took so many photos in those <laughs> mirrors. I mean, with the ocean in the back, it's just really cool to see the reflections of like the ocean, the sand, the, the hotels and the beach and the palm trees all kind of configured within these standing alone mirrors. It was incredible. I did meet a new friend there. I mean, during Basel, you just meet so many people, which is why I love it. I met a girl, her name is Ashley. She's actually a model from New York and she was just, oh no, from Atlanta. And she was just really, really sweet and cool. Like I got to know her. This is the great thing about going to events like this. You're always meeting creatives in the same field and then you just form friendships. So she was really cool. Um, I also ran into my girl Taylor. If you guys watched my girls night out in New York City, you would have seen Taylor. We had a pregame at her house and then we went out to dinner. Taylor has also been in my Miami vlogs. I celebrated New Year's with Taylor on a yacht. So yeah, Taylor is, is amazing. Definitely give her a follow. She is like the PR girl and I just love hanging out with her. We had a really good time. So that event was great. Special thanks for to them for inviting me. They also gave me a gift bag. I'll show you guys what was in there. This is the gift bag everyone got. I love this little bag, it's super cute. Look, so this is The Dance of Light and Water by Wen Chin Su. I guess this is like a little booklet speaking about the artist and the installation. Um, I wish I could go tonight to see it, um, but I have a few other events. And they also gave us a few skincare products. I believe we have the Skin Caviar Absolute Filler and the Skin Caviar Luxe Eye Cream. Very, very cool. And what's this? Oh, this is just a thank you. That's really sweet. So that's what came in my gift bag. That was really like my first official, official Basel event and I loved it. I didn't wanna leave. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna change 
out of this look into another look i'm going to meet up with my girl Rhea michelle and we're going to head to the nespresso event you guys know i love nespresso i always talk about nespresso um, i work with them i've been an ambassador for them and so they invited me to a cocktail hour that they're having this evening at the miami botanical gardens so i want to be a little more arty <laughs> so what i'm going to do is put on this christopher john rogers dress that i actually bought myself for my birthday this year by the way the lip is still a fiery it goes on liquid dries matte incredible especially if you need to wear a mask earrings louis vuitton necklace majori so i'm gonna hurry up and change into this um, because the event is in like 30 minutes and i need to meet Rhea. so i will check back in soon but <sighs> It's gonna be so fun. My first ever Art Basel. All right guys, that might be the quickest I've ever gotten myself together. I just touched up my makeup a bit. Gonna add a little more Stila, which is great. Like this has been on for at least three hours. And it's still going strong and looking great. Today's scent, Gucci the Virgin Violet. I bought this in the last vlog when I went to a pre Basel event at Ball Harbor Shops. I know I'm doing the most, y'all. I can't. It has to last. So, yeah, after the Nespresso event, I actually have another event with Perrier at one hotel south beach y'all know that's my favorite hotel um and i'm actually meeting maria there so that should be fun that today is like the busiest day and the light in the bathroom just blue which is like the best makeup light so i'm a little miffed about that so i just realized this hotel does not have a full length mirror i gotta dock them a point but other than that, the service here has been incredible even when I checked in. Tonight's bag is this Prada bag. Tonight's shoe is my white Bottegas. They go with everything and they are so comfy. So let me turn you around in the mirror as full as we gonna get. So let's go. It's gonna be a super fun night.
Gracias. No soy tan buena para hablar en público. Eh, so I'm a little bit shy when it gets like to being thanks to such a wonderful partnership. I mean, I really want to follow eh, all what I have learned. Uh, I feel honored to be part of this amazing company eh, that it creates not only coffee, but a coffee that is 100% uh, eh, made with love, eh, made eh, totally conscious eh, about everything that is happening, and, and it's a luxury that you can enjoy at home.
Hey y'all and welcome to day two of the Art Basel in Miami vlog. I have to give you guys a rundown of last night because it was a lot. So yesterday I already recapped the La Prairie um, skincare event that I went to. It was on the beach, they had cabanas. It was incredible, it was amazing. I checked into the Hyatt centric South Beach right here on Collins and gave you guys a tour. I then came back i changed i put on a christopher john rogers dress that i absolutely love and i headed to nespresso nespresso usa had an event here at the miami botanical gardens i met up with my girl ria and we headed to the event it was really beautiful um right across the street from the convention center where all of the art is it was great inside of the botanical gardens lots of different brands are there they have booths set up where you can eat where you can drink where you can check out their products um it was really cool the nespresso activation was all the way in the back um and it was in partnership with joanna ortiz which is an incredible i believe she is brazilian designer I love her clothes, I love her accessories, like everything is so very beachy, very vibrant, very tropical. So if you're looking for a great like vacation brand where you know you want pieces that are going to stand out while you're in warm weather, definitely check out jo Joanna Ortiz. I will link a few of my favorite like pieces from her down below. I also love her jewelry because it's also like statement jewelry, very earthy, earth materials used, lots of raffia and things, shells. She was there as well. She made a speech. It was great. Y'all know I love Nespresso. Like <laughs> I was drinking all night y'all i think i started drinking all the way from the time i went to the skincare event until i got back here last night but anywho we had a good time there was food there was bites there were lots of people there i met so many <laughs> amazing people so it was wonderful they had a live band playing music just had an overall wonderful time after that I headed with Rhea over to the Ocean Drive magazine party, which was actually at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, which I've never actually been to the Ritz Carlton. It was great. <laughs> Look, I just wanna say everything was great. They had this cool thing blown up inside of a pool. There was a huge stage. I think Diplo was going to perform. Lots of different drink stations. I, the whole event was pretty much like alcohol, different alcohol brands, spirits brands, where you could go around and just kind of do a tasting. It was really great. I ran into my girl, Lisa D, NYC there as well. Her and her husband were, were there. She always looks incredible. Like every time I see her, she be doing it up. We're definitely gonna have some kind of lunch brunch together sometime soon. So make sure you're following her. She's a another New York transplant who came down to Miami um, during the Great Migration. So that party was pretty cool. I didn't stay very long because I had to head to a dinner with Perrier Jouet which is a champagne brand um, that I love. I'm so excited that they invited me to this event. It was actually at the One Hotel. Y'all know the One. It's my favorite hotel um, and the lobby is so decked out. It's so just in the holiday spirit with Christmas lights and um, all of the white and wood everywhere. There were so many people at the bar. Um, I actually met my girl Maria there who takes my photos. She's Bella Rosa blog on Instagram and I believe here on YouTube as well. She has a channel. Um, definitely check her out. They had a cute little cocktail hour um, where we had rosé. I ran into my girl Crystal Bick. I love Crystal Bick. Her content is absolutely inspiring and incredible and breathtaking. She has a blog. It's called This Time Tomorrow and I just I love Crystal. We go way back. So it was really nice to see her. It was so nice to see like all of my New York friends, like all of my New York influencers and content creators and bloggers down here in Miami for Basel. After doing a really cute cocktail hour, I'm um, getting our photos taken and all that good stuff, we headed to the dinner, which was in partnership with Sophia Rowe. 
um, who is a chef and she created this three course tasting menu everything was like gluten free um, vegan well maybe not vegan but vegetarian everything was delicious like it was great there were so many people at this dinner that I've seen on TV like there was some a few housewives there a lot of the women from the bachelor the bachelorette were, were there it was really really fun of course crystal was there like it was just great i had a great time um, meeting the people that i was sitting with and just having a conversation about literally everything <laughs> everything from having kids to uh being an influencer to the weather to the difference between miami and new york and it was just really really fun i came back to my hotel i showered i crashed you guys so hard i mean i did four events yesterday which was kind of like my first official day of basel and it was a lot like new york fashion week with better weather more parties and definitely a lot more champagne like i drank so much champagne yesterday i don't know how i woke up today with no headache speaking of which i woke up today and i knew i had to work out like if i didn't work out i knew i was going to feel like a slug so I woke up today, I did a quick 30 minute Zoom workout with my girl, Life with Glory B. If you wanna join our Zoom classes, DM her on Instagram. That's the only way to get on the list. Since I was already like dirty and I've been wanting to ride, um, I went downstairs to the lobby and I got a bike. Bikes here are complimentary, they are free. They come with a free water bottle and a lock. So I went and grabbed a bike and then I just went and rode down on the boardwalk. You guys know I love riding my bike on the boardwalk on Miami Beach. It's so great, especially in the morning. It was maybe about 8.30 when I rode. So it was nice and clear. Not a lot of people were out. I mean, there were a few joggers, a few bikers, but I mean, the weather was incredible today. It's like 80 degrees. The sun is shining off of the ocean and you see the sand and the palm trees swaying and just riding my bike. I rode all the way down to the pier and I haven't actually walked on the pier so um, instead of just riding past it I actually stopped locked my bike up and actually took a walk all the way out onto the pier and it was just beautiful like the way the sun was just sparkling on the water it just made me feel super grateful to just be alive and to be like living my dream like I could never have imagined like I started to cry y'all I'm a baby I can't even front I started to cry and I was just thanking God for just this is a beautiful life that that he's blessed me with and all of these incredible opportunities that just are literally just falling into my lap. So very humble, very happy that really reset me. Um, and then I had a quick breakfast here um, at my hotel before getting ready. So last night um, we got these gift bags from the Nespresso Joanna Ortiz event. I believe this print is one of Joanna Ortiz's prints that she uses um, in her clothing. But in here we have Nespresso dark chocolate. I don't actually really like dark chocolate but I'm gonna eat this. 70% dark chocolate and then we have a nespresso times joanna ortiz chocolate as well like they are really just giving us a lot of chocolate have a food and wine magazine in here and a nomad collection traveling mug in the medium size this is from nespresso i'm glad they actually gave us this because i don't know what happened to my last one but it's gone and I need a traveling mug for sure. Being that I feel sometimes I'm gonna go down to the beach and do my workouts down there. And it'll be nice to have this to take uh, my coffee in. So that is the gift. Really, really cool. Shout out to Nespresso for always looking out for your girl. I had a great time. So that was what was in my gift bag. I'm gonna continue to share those like this week, the more events that I go to. But I just got myself together. I did a quick face and put on a quick outfit. I actually shot this previously in I think the last Miami vlog. Um, I'm wearing a Rat and Boa top. The skirt I actually picked up from Simonette, the store here in the Miami Design District. I do believe they have since closed and I think they only have an online store now. I'm not sure if this skirt is available there, but I had to get the large. 
because it runs a bit small. But I'll put this on because today I'm actually heading to Art Basel, the actual convention center, to go in and check out all of the art. And that is courtesy of Nespresso who gave me tickets to get in. So thank you to them. <laughs> They've really been looking out for you, girl, okay? So I'm really looking forward to seeing all of the art and taking you guys with me. This is my first time going to the convention center to check out the art, so I'm very excited about that and just seeing everything. All right, so I'm going to put on a sit. I'm gonna put on a shoe, grab a bag. I'm gonna head to meet Rhea, cause she's coming as well. And we're gonna go check out some art. All right guys, so here is today's scent. It is from Aqua di Parma. And I bought this in uh, the last vlog. You guys know I've been looking for amazing scents. And I love this one. This one is very fresh. Almost gives like a manly scent, but I absolutely love it. I'll link it down below. So I'm gonna go with these sunglasses, which I picked up in the California Santa Monica vlog when I shopped at Free People on the Third Street Promenade and the Louis Vuitton earrings, shoe, same shoes I've been wearing all week. I managed to clean them because they were disgusting after last night. And my jewelry necklace, I'll link that down below along with more of my favorite jewels. The bag, I'm gonna go with my Bottega large Jody bag that I've been wearing. All right, let's art basel. The category is green. Okay.
guys. All right, so today is, I believe, the third day of the Art Basel vlog. I think I last left off uh, taking you guys with me to Art Basel to the actual convention center so we could check out the art. It was so cool. That place is huge. So Rhea and I went courtesy of Nespresso, so shout out to them for giving me the VIP tickets. And we checked out a lot of art. What I really loved is there are so many artists of color, specifically a lot of black artists were featured in the booths and in the shows this year. And it was just incredible. I was like drawn. This is really getting on my nerves. I have to move it. I was like really drawn to all of the art featuring black people. And it was just really, really interesting and really cool. I'm kind of really excited to decorate my house so that I can start collecting art and buying fine art. But it was just incredible. We walked around for hours looking at everything. I mean, they had everyone, <laughs> every artist you can think of that's pretty huge had booths there. Lots of little interactive things as well and just I had an overall amazing time. I would definitely recommend coming to Art Basel if you're someone who's really into art. Definitely come down or if you're an artist yourself or just looking to rub elbows with people in a creative industry. It's the perfect place to be. I've made so many contacts during this Art Basel weekend. After we went to the actual Art Basel Convention Center to check out the art, we sat down and we had an early lunch at Joe's Crab Shack, which is pretty famous here in Miami Beach. I've only actually eaten there once, and it was because my girl Taylor and Rio they actually brought Joe's Crab Shack to the boat when we yachted it for New Year's. You would have seen that in that New Year's uh, vlog here in Miami um, at the top of the at the top of this year. It was nice to sit down. They had one inside of the convention center, and we ate. We had a really nice like chicken salad, and of course a lobster roll. Their lobster rolls are delicious that was really good after we ate we then popped over to design miami where it's more furniture and people who make furniture and make physical pieces not necessarily like art like paintings and things like that i mean that was really cool fendi had a booth there where they had some of their really cool furniture like chairs and such perrier juve the champagne um, company they also had a, a really like cool interactive booth where you walk up and it's like flowers and me and Rio were over there for I don't know how long just doing things I believe BMW had a car there as well that was made out of wires which was really cool and a fun little swing in front um, I think Design Miami is really, really cool too. It was right across the street from the Convention Center, which was also right across the street from the Botanical Gardens, all of these places you have seen in today's vlog. That was a really cool experience, checking out all of the furniture, and it really, really got my gears going about decorating my new home, um, which should be happening, happening in the next two weeks. Yes! Finally, that was really fun. After that, where do we go? We walked over to the One Hotel for an event with Casa Del Sol Tequila. My girl Chanel actually works with them. Those are her clients and she invited us. It was at One Hotel kind of out on a little patio where a few events have been happening. I think um, American Express had an event there as well. But it was really fun drinking, dancing, listening to music, being merry. And I'm pretty sure that's how I closed out the evening. I came home and I took it to bed, y'all. <laughs> All right, so that was that. Now, yesterday I didn't really vlog because I was working the whole day with Mark Levinson. Um, I did a cool tour with them. We had like a little rooftop situation where we had breakfast and drinks. Then we got on a tour bus and we went to all of these different places. We got to see how vinyl is made. We went to an actual recording studio where literally Lil Wayne recorded Carter 3. Like it smelled like straight weed in there y'all. I'm not even going for it. It smelled like somebody was in there creating greatness. But it was really cool. I actually got to go into a booth and ad lib some things. It was just fun. I had, an, I had a really great time. I did finally wear my Hanifa red 
uh, blue and yellow pleated dress. I got so many compliments on that dress yesterday, but I didn't vlog too much because I had to work that event and create stories and create a reel, all of which are due tomorrow. And I've yet to do them, so we're gonna do that tonight. Today is a new day. It's Sunday. Basel is pretty much over. The actual Basel is only from December 2nd to December 4th. So today is kind of like the wind down. If people are still in town, people are at the beach, people are just kind of hanging out, maybe doing dinners with everyone before they head back to wherever they came from. A lot of people from New York are in town. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of a lunch pool event with my girl Rhea. It is at the Mondrian Hotel, which is, which is a pretty popular hotel. And I am wearing this uh thrifts and threads cover up it's kind of like a shredded cover up i actually wore this out to brooklyn to the park to celebrate juneteenth and those are some of my most favorite pictures ever and my hair is in bantu knots i cannot wait to take these braids out i miss my hair y'all i miss it so bad but i know i'm gonna like miss not doing my hair too so that's what i'm wearing underneath i have the rat and boa two-piece swimsuit i've worn this before as well i think it's still available so i got my normal size which is a size medium if you guys are interested it's really cool that has this long little string on the side but these bottoms do come without the strings i think i'm gonna wear my chanel black dad sandals i'm gonna pop on a fragrance get my bag together and head over to ria's so that we can head to the event i did just post when well i just earlier today after my workout i posted um, the first kind of Miami art Basel vlog, like the pre-vlog, and it's doing so well. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Like I know they can be super long, but because it's Vlogmas and I'm not doing a video every single day because it's just it's just not possible for me. Um, and my editor, I'm trying to do like longer vlogs this month for you guys. I mean, I already give y'all motion pictures and movies every weekend, but. Maybe they'll be just a little bit longer to make up for the fact that I'm just not doing a video every day. I gotta live, y'all. I gotta live. <laughs> and I gotta work. And I gotta move into my house. Because this is the busiest time of my life, seriously, right now. It's even amazing that I remember to even vlog. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate you guys thumbsing up my videos, subscribing, sharing my videos, telling your friends, insta storing it, tagging me. I love reposting those, by the way. If you're not following me on Instagram, you kind of want to see stuff in real time, t check me out. Give me a follow at Monroe Steel. All right, so let me get my shoes. Let me pick a scent. We're going to head out because I'm running late. All right, guys, it's going to be a fun day. All right, guys, here in the bathroom. So today's scent, I think, should I do Tay Noir or should I do my Gucci one? I might be allergic to something in the new Gucci fragrance I bought in the last vlog because I've been sneezing like crazy, y'all. Sneezing every time I wear it. Maybe I'll test it again today just to see. It might be my allergies. I do love the way this smells. You would have seen me unbox this in my previous vlog where I shared my Black Friday buys. If you missed that vlog, you gotta catch up. But you know what, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully, I don't get the sneezes again because since I haven't worn it, I haven't sneezed. So I really hope that's not it because this is expensive and I wanna wear it. Yep, I'm already about to sneeze, y'all. 